It's time for Team Mom Trash Talk with Tracy and Noel. Hello and welcome to Team Mom Trash Talk. This is episode 298. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my lovely equal host, Noel W. Comedian Herzog. Oh, I like that. That's the best one yet. <laughs> Did you like that one? Yeah, that was good. That made me happy. We're here to talk about Teen Mom 2 Season 3, Episode 3. If you guys don't realize, we're covering old episodes. Um, we're talking about them in present tense. I know a lot of people get confused. Uh, but also, we're watching them on Paramount+. Plus. But we have to talk about it in pres in present tense, and people don't understand that. So <laughs> no. when we talk about it, like um, that already happened, and it's like, yeah, no, I know that TV is usually. But not Chelsea in did real get time. her GED. Yeah, no shit, she got her GED. I mean, not really, no shit though. <laughs> no, but you know, it's like, oh, Janelle has been arrested recently. Okay, well, she was arrested forty seven times before, so that's right. what we're talking about. I know. If you guys want to hear more about Noelle and I, go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast, where we have all of our bonus content, our favorite podcast called BS, where we just kind of, we just, uh, uh, I would say we uh, BS. We BS a little bit. Also, uh, we have a full every single episode of unexpected we have tons of uh 16 and pregnant we have a lot of things on there you guys want to go check it out um and don't forget to listen to our very free available everywhere podcast or listen to 90 day fiance trash talk and catfish trash talk very free i have tons of shows coming up uh go to tracycarnazzo.com i'll be opening for the giggly squad that's hannah burner and Paige distorbo i'll be opening for them in philadelphia Pennsylvania at the Fillmore and then also Huntington at Long Island at the Paramount. So cool. go check that out. That's uh the 18th and the 19th of May 2023. That's super cool. Yes. So um okay, let's jump in the pool. So much is happening. So much is happening. Okay, so I'm watching this episode and I'm like, if the episodes were like this now. Yeah, they would never cancel these shows. They would never cancel these shows. They gave the girls too much freedom now. That's the problem. Too much, um, yeah, like, like say in um, what they show. Well, what's happening is these girls are getting smarter. And they're like, oh, and I actually getting don't richer. want you to, <laughs> to videotape me pooping and crying. Yeah. <laughs> don't show me cheating on my boyfriend. Right, right. Yeah. Like maybe keep that footage out. Oh, um, so much is happening. Yeah, they're getting smarter and I'm not liking it. No, me neither. But we still have a way to go before they're really smart. <laughs> Let me tell you something. They are not smart in this episode. So mm -mm. Chelsea said that she's going to be taking her GED practice text. Why can I speak? <laughs> this is a tongue twister. Chelsea <laughs> is going to be taking her GED practice test next week. Yes. We've been hearing that. Uh huh. This for a is long season three, time. episode three, since season one, episode one. Yes. And maybe since she's, 16 and pregnant. She's just taking the practice test, not the GED. <laughs> right. So she's also planning Aubrey's birthday. So she couldn't be bothered. She, she's been very busy. And Adam, quote, stays over a lot. Yeah, but he's not living there, really. He's no, just staying over. He stays over. So he has a motocross race, and Randy is going to be watching Aubrey, and he doesn't know why. But it's like, do you think that he saw your ring last week? He saw your ring at the barbecue. <laughs> right. He knows something's going on. Yeah. So um, Chelsea's hair. Chelsea's hair. Chelsea's the teasing. hair. The secrets that are caught in that bouffant. It's so crazy. It's Tracy. like TMZ's up in there. Her friend's hair, too. Oh, very bad. Very, very bad. So Adam lives there. Yes. That's what's happening. And she's like, oh, I hope my dad doesn't know. So Randy's but like, she come on. she wants him to know. I know. Randy's like, come on, you're always late. She's definitely always late. Okay. So Randy says. Mm -hmm. uh, he sees Adam's stuff in the garage and he's like, Adam lives here. And she goes, quote. Mm -hmm. Okay, why were you in my house? But the way she said that, why are you in the house? It's like, okay, what? why were you in my house? And it's like, I, I would punch her in the face if she was my daughter. It's like, I would take worse? her to the court and emancipate her. But that's what I mean. What's worse, though, this or Janelle screaming about pot? You know, Chelsea. Janelle. You think that oh, Janelle's I, worse? No, no, I meant Janelle's better. Yeah, Janelle's yeah, better. I, I Janelle's struggling. Around. 
Right. Chelsea is just entitled. Spoiled. Yes, of course. So if I, in the house, I pay my own rent now. You don't pay, no, you don't. You don't pay your own rent. That's not even Please. true. Stop. You pay $50 a month. Seriously. With a leopard check. You don't have a job anymore. Stop. Oh, that's true. Right. Yeah. I forgot. So she, but remember this is season three. So she got paid a little bit from season two. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. It's a little advanced from season three. So she gets to this motocross race and Adam is miserable. But he's the only four wheeler there, too. Okay. But that's like saying I'm in a dance competition. It's a ballet competition, but I have my tap shoes. Right. Yeah. It's, it's like, yeah, him. that's not, you're not in the competition. He's racing himself. It's you're, like, no, the race is over and they're letting you go on. Right. The- you know what you're doing? You're being tails. Do you know what that means? No. When you play Sonic the Hedgehog, uh huh. You can give someone the other remote, the second remote, and you could be tails, but it doesn't matter. All you do is fly around the screen. You cannot help. You cannot do anything. Oh, uh, like for like a little brother. Sister. That's what I did. Yeah. I was tails. My of whole course life. you were. My brother's like, you want to play with me? Sure. Here you go. Yeah. You're like that little fish who swims next to the shark who thinks right. he's going to get something. Exactly. Like I used to be the catcher's helper when the boys played with football. That's you. Uh-huh. My brother yeah. used to play with football in the street and I was the catcher's <laughs> catcher. So if the catcher didn't catch it, then maybe I could catch it. That's very funny. <laughs> and they put me behind the gate. <laughs> How old like, are you? Inside of the backyard? They're like, no. Probably You're like, like, I was 15. I was 17. It was terrible. So hard on my knees. Oh, my God. That really <laughs> actually made me laugh for real. That's funny. Oh, I could yeah. just see little Tracy. Yeah, I had my mitt and everything. Oh. They're like, you know, this is wiffle ball. I had my uniform on. <laughs> <laughs> I was covered in dirt, even Did though we were just playing on concrete. Did you ever catch one ball? Probably. Okay. I was like, you know, they would be like, oh, the ball went in the street. Go get it. Right. And you're like, okay, <laughs> sure. Yeah. No big deal. I'll just oh, get hit God. a little bit by a car. Anyway. That's funny. So she leans over to kiss him. <laughs> I don't think he kissed her. No, I don't think he kissed her either. She was holding his hand. He was not holding back. Why do you have to sit there and hold his hand? She's obsessed with him. She's so sad. This is sad. So I know both her Mm -hmm. and her friend have on feather earrings. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. The chokehold that birds had on the 2012 accessory. Yes. I mean, what a flock. Did you ever have a feather in your hair? No. So here's the thing, right? I had a feather in my hair. I got it at the San Gennaro feast. Mm-hmm. This was like right after my dad died. And I think I was just having a nervous breakdown. Yeah, maybe. I was going to say, this is like. I had a breakdown feather. <laughs> alarming behavior. It was blue. It was very cute. But I got uh-huh. it in the wrong spot, too. I got it like the top right in my right. part. And it's like, but then it just grows out. It lasted forever. Too. You washed your hair with the feather? Yeah. Did you be less than forever? Oh, I saw that TikTok you sent me mm-hmm. where the, was where the husband good. was eating the bird seed. Like when my dad ate the, the, <laughs> the bonsai, bonsai tree. tree. <laughs> Thank you. It was a brownie. Oh, God. Guys, if you want to hear these <laughs> stories, you know where to go. Patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. Uh-huh. All right. So Randy made Adam move out. You know what? This is the what? first time Randy has had even a half of testicle. But I was just going to say the first time he's had balls. It's like mm-hmm. he's a, he acts like he's afraid of Adam. Yeah. Like he will never confront he him. He sat there until he moved all of his stuff out. Every tire. Every I, last spark plug. I wish, <laughs> I wish they would have filmed that. I really oh wish they would have filmed that. They, Adam was probably like throwing things. Yeah. That's why it's like, I, like I hate you, man. I hate you. I hate you. This is fucking bullshit, man. And he's probably like kicking the tires. So <laughs> now Adam is blowing her off. You think? But I don't think it's because of Randy. I think it's because of her hair and her as a person. Well, <laughs> Laura <laughs> comes over. It's going to be Aubrey's second birthday. And right. uh, Aubrey says, uh, 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 Laura says, are you going to cry again this year? And Chelsea's like, no, but yes. <laughs> okay, but also her friends are so mean to her. Her friends are mean to her, but they think she, it's like she's like a joke. No, but that's what I'm saying. They don't yeah. really take her seriously. So she's uh-uh. getting a Barbie Jeep for her birthday. That's and now so cute. Brittany is over. Mm-hmm. And... <laughs> Uh, she's scared that Adam won't come to the birthday party and she calls him. He ends the call. She leaves him a message. She's like, Hello, Adam. This is Chelsea. Do you want to come with me to the bar? Why doesn't she get mad? Because like, she she's, like, she's like, oh, I'm throwing a party. I hope Adam helps. And it's like, right. 
You're because, not like, fuck this guy. No, she can't because then he won't call her. So he texts her back because then she follows up with a text. Right. And uh-huh. he goes, no, busy. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, well, are you going to come? Well, her, Ashley, mm-hmm. and all of the birds in the whole world mm-hmm. go to the party. Mm-hmm. And she's upset that Adam might not come to the party. I've never seen this much pink in my whole life. Okay. But maybe. Uh-huh. Worry about your daughter's birthday party. Well, so that's the thing. Why are you making this about Adam? It doesn't matter if he comes or not. Well, her other friend, Laura, they love triggering her. Yeah, she's they like, do. It's 11. I wonder if Adam's going to come. I was so yeah. nervous on the way here. But why did she do that? Uh, because this is what her friends do. I can't, That's what Mary does, too. Uh-huh. Mary flies in with a feather clip in her hair. Okay. So I po- when I posted about this week's episode, I used a picture of Mary with a feather. And it's mm-hmm. like, I didn't even know this episode was coming. I wish I would have used well, it this week. <laughs> we could use it again. You could feather again. You could just I, put a, post a picture of birds. I couldn't. But I should. I should post like a pelican. <laughs> I could not believe that even Mary had a feather. Mary flies in like a pidge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this volume on Chelsea's hair is just beautiful. It's too much. It's too much for me. Gorgeous. And an hour later, an hour after mm-hmm. the party starts, Erica goes, so he's coming? Why does everyone Stop. care? So Adam shows up two hours late. Mm-hmm. And now it's cake time. Mm-hmm. And Aubrey's going to make a wish. And Chelsea goes through her gritted teeth. That mommy and daddy stay together. Yeah, that's normal. That's normal. You're not together. You've never been together. I've never been together. Been her boyfriend. Adam needed a place to stay. You know how you know that? How? Because when your dad kicks him out, he stopped talking to you. Hmm. That you know what? That's a good way to look at it. Yeah. Okay. That's how you know. That's how you yeah. know. Because let me tell you something. If they were really like crazy in love, yeah, nothing can stop them. That's true. They would be plotting Randy's death. Right. Or they would. She would just move. Or she would move right. in with him. Or whatever. Right. right. Stop. Kiefer and Janelle were more in love than them. That, okay, I agree with that. They were living in an abandoned house together. They, they got arrested to prison. together. Mm-hmm. Stop. <sighs> so she gets the Barbie Jeep, but Adam gets mm-hmm. her a bike and they blur out his dad's face. So here's the thing. I know, but here's the thing, right? So they get him. The, uh, he gets Aubrey a bike. Very cute. Okay. Why now Chelsea bitches? Chelsea says, quote, she doesn't know how to drive a bike. <laughs> oh, I don't think you also know anything. I don't even think you know what a bike is. But why is she mad that? OK, so now you're mad that he came and got her a gift. Because It's not about her. Yeah, it's, it's so not crazy. about her. He didn't come and he didn't kiss her and he didn't hold her hand. And that's what she cares about. It's it, what annoys me is she gets so mad that Randy hates him and then talks shit to Randy about Adam. Of That's course. something that makes me crazy. And then she's like, why is he like that to him? Oh, gee, I wonder why. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But Noelle. Yeah. I will say this. Yeah. We have both been using Thrive Cosmetics for quite a while. Long time. I have my mom on Thrive Cosmetics. Oh, my mom's on it. Oh, that's right. Your mom's mm-hmm. on it too. Yeah. We have been using the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. And I'm going to tell you, it has more than 25,000 five-star reviews for a reason. It mimics the look of lash extensions without the damaging glue or salon prices. My mom has very small lashes. The other day she was wearing it. I was like, whoa. I will never wear another mascara. Like for real, for real, you know, yeah. I am obsessed with it. No, I know. Yeah. It uses a pri- par- Wow. Proprietary tubing formula, which means that it wraps around each lash as you apply it to dramatically lengthen and define your lashes from root to tip. It lasts all day without clumping, smudging or flaking and nourishing ingredients support longer, stronger and healthier looking lashes over time. Love it that. easily removes. It slides right off with warm water and a washcloth. No soap required. And it's a best-selling product from Thrive Cosmetics. So I, when I wash my makeup off, mm-hmm. I just kind of put like some warm water on my eye and it just like smushes right off. Well, that's the best part about it. And then you're not left with like the streaks under your exactly. eyes. Exactly. Yes. Oh, that's true too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I had my mom try it is because it is certified 100% vegan and cruelty free and they're made with clean skin loving ingredients. Um, And it's great. That's why. You know, my mom loves the mascara because like you, uh, most mascaras give her a headache. I this know. one doesn't. Well, 
cause is in the name for a reason. As part of their mission, every purchase supports organizations that help communities thrive, such as those battling domestic violence, um, homelessness, cancer, and more. You have to try Thrive Cosmetics to see for yourself. Right now, you can get an exclusive 20% off your first order when you visit thrivecosmetics.com slash teen mom. That's Thrive Cosmetics, C-A-U-S-E-M-E-T-I-C-S dot com slash teen mom for 20% off your first order. And as always, you know where to go. Show notes. Show notes. All right, moving on to Leah. Speaking of someone who needs some Thrive Cosmetics liquid lash extensions mascara. Okay. Yes, she absolutely does. But I you're know. right. You pointed this out a few weeks ago. Like it's happening. It's How happening. It's happening. Yes. It's I see it. Uh huh. Things are changing. Yes. So she hasn't spoken to Corey and he pays child support every other week and right. then he gets them three weekends a month. That's nice. They seem to be working it out fine. Sort of. So she wonders if she should have filed for divorce. She's like, because he didn't do it. Now I got to tell you. Yeah. I do wonder. I don't think he would have filed. I don't think he would have filed. Either. I think he was just pissed off. I think it's I better off filed. that she did. So do I. Because at the end of the day, I don't think she was ever in love with him anyway. Mm -hmm. And I don't think she would have left the relationship either, though. Right. So yeah. she said that she can't go to school because of the divorce. Okay. Interesting reason. <laughs> but also what? Not because you have to work or you, you have twins full time. Right. It's because of the divorce. Right. So Corey got a new truck. <gasps> of course he did. And this is so triggering to her. I actually kind of felt bad. See, I don't feel bad because it's like, that's not why he wanted to break up. It wasn't about the truck. No, you but you didn't like the truck. No, no. That's what she's saying. But it, she's saying that he ch but she feels on like him. She doesn't see that part. She feels like if she wasn't bitching at him about mm -hmm. the truck, mm -hmm. you know, that and she's also mad that he, he she sees that he chose the truck over her family because she was moving Robbie or no Robbie, dear cam or no dear cam. Right. But he approached her about Robbie and she's crying like you deserve someone who appreciates you. I like, don't know why she said that. That was the wildest. I thing. know. And it's like, no, no, no. Girlfriend. He was breaking up. With you yeah. You cheated on him all the time. Right. Hmm. So. He gives her a check for two fifty, and she's like, "Oh, can you afford it with your new truck?" The passive aggressiveness. I know, but she's like, "That's why I left you." And he goes, "Oh my god, really?" He's like, "Let me pee my pants." Yeah, because it's like I saw you on the dash cam, the the right. beer cam, <laughs> and the dash cam, and the dash cam. So she's throwing digs at him. Okay, so now mm -hmm. Kayla comes over. Leah's still sad about this truck. She's right. crying, and Kayla said. She's like, listen, you did a great job. You have two kids. You have a full time job. What? I she I I thought had she, a, had, a, she one had a one day, day a week job. One day. Yeah. I guess it was full time that day. OK, maybe that day it was also, I guess. So Kayla moved out. She yeah, officially she doesn't live there anymore. Yeah. OK, so she's like, I loved him. You know, I loved him. And Kayla's like, what? I can't hear you. Kayla's like, <laughs> so she's picking up the girl. Let's refer to the deer cam. <laughs> Corey is dipping with one full bag of mulch in his lip. Tracy, this is I premium can't believe mulch. It. This is premium Hamptons mulch. I've seen it. It's very expensive. He put the whole bag. He put one square acre in his lip. I have never seen this much dip in someone's lip. Is this real? Do people do this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen it myself. It's what? not a New York thing, but yes, I've seen it. What's the point of this? Nicotine. You It goes into your bloodstream very quickly. Yeah, but that's it? That's mm -hmm. it? Yeah. There's no act. It's like spit. Right. Yeah. It's, There's no okay. act. It, okay. We're going to no, move on. No, I know. I know. I, I'm like foaming at the mouth right now. Uh-huh. We're going to move on. Okay. So he says to her, by the way, what's the real reason we're getting divorced? <laughs> that was so funny. Because I'm telling you. He got upset about her talking about his truck. Yeah. But I also think in his mind now, too, he's like, maybe like maybe we wouldn't have gotten divorced if right. she didn't file. I know. Yeah. He's like, I did see that episode. Um, so mm -hmm. Corey said that he tried everything. That's a lie. She's like, I wanted to go to marriage counseling and you wouldn't. And he's like, yeah, I tried everything, though. Like, sometimes I even let you win arguments. It's like, shut up, Corey. I also don't think. I think because they're immature. Nobody was like, hey, I love you. I want to be with you. Uh -huh. Let's figure it out. No I think it was like, you did this. You did yep. this. You did this. Mm -hmm. So he wants to get along for the girls. And now let me tell you, the court hearing for the divorce 
is what? already going to be final. But they it's divorced awesome. in three episodes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've they, never divorce seen divorce takes a long time. Three episodes. They're also going to two very different courthouses by how oh. they're dressed. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Corey's going to where deer get married. Yes. And Leah's going to um, Barbie in law school. Yes. Yes, she is. <laughs> I'm like, what is it? Corey loves wearing the color of the season. He does. Well, he's, you know, yeah. on the road doing road funny. things. Road things. And Leah is uh, a 1970s secretary. Yeah. Smoking it's a, a cigarette at her desk. She has a ruffle on her blazer. There's a ruffle. There's a peplum ruffle. Uh-huh. So she calls her mom and she's like, mom. And her mom's like, wait, what are you going to court for? She's like, hello, I'm divorcing my husband. She goes, oh, you're strong. You'll be in the closet. You'll be no okay. Time. No, you'll be fine. You'll be in the closet in no time with your other friends. You know how you know that they live in West Virginia? Tell me they live in West Virginia without telling me they live in West Virginia. How? The court takes 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. That's like the DMV. There's probably no line. <laughs> they probably love it there. They probably have fresh baked cookies at the DMV there. It's so true. My mom, her post office is just a house. Yeah. It's crazy. Very weird. Mm-hmm. All right. So moving on to Janelle the best she's the meat she's the meat she is my life she's the juicy hamburger of teen mom she is she is the juice in the hamburger she failed her drug test last week and she wants to go to jail for 45 days to end her probation because quote i'm having a hard time because i can't stop smoking pot but here's the thing what bothers me about janelle is like she can't stop smoking pot and she expects everyone to accept that even like the people at court it's yeah. like well i can't so you're just gonna but have to she take can't that. right mm-hmm. so she calls tori and she's like listen tori i wouldn't have called you if i had other friends right she's like i literally have no one else that's why i called you and tori's like yeah i'll always be there for you stop mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all right so she said but i she- like that tori was like i'll only be friends with you uh-huh if on you one can- condition right you can't be with Kiefer, and she's he like well that's not gonna you. be hard because Kiefer's in new jersey but if he comes back which he will game over all so right. let's scissor now so she's like all right well gets back. i want you to go to kesha in raleigh with me in a few days she's like she's i like, literally am, yeah i know she's like i'm literally asking you because there's no one else i asked jace and he said no yeah so you're the only one so quote i know i might be going to jail but at least i have the concert to look forward to and with that, Dustin calls. Oh, Dustin. That She's man like, has the patience of a saint. He goes, uh, hey, Janelle, you're going to be in a six by eight cell for 45 days. Or you could uh, be on probation and just stay out of jail. Out and, of trouble. I, and I like that. She's like, I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to be able to quit smoking. Yep. I'm telling you right now. And it's like, OK, so you have to go to jail. It's this isn't like right. you're not making the rules here. Right. So she said that she can't stop smoking. And. Babs is like, oh, hey, why don't you go back to rehab? Why don't you do this? Mm-hmm. And she goes, why don't you go to a 12 step meeting? Why don't you go to N.A.? And she says, quote, 12 steps is not my fantasy, mom. And I want that on a T-shirt right now. OK, first of all, Babs says, why don't you go to 12 stops? <laughs> first. <laughs> oh, man, that was so funny. 12 my stop fantasy. is not my fantasy, mom. And then mm-hmm. she turns to Jason, says, quote, say, Meme, shut up. She saw it. See, that's where you're like, oh, this is his sister. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. she said that weed is not a narcotic. And she's so screaming, she can't go to N.A. She's screaming that she's stressed out and she leaves and Jay starts crying. This is the repeat scene that we keep seeing. This is the third over season and of over. Yep. Right. So Janelle goes to Cracker Barrel with Dustin mm-hmm. and she says, quote, I definitely want to do jail. Because she because then she's like, well, I could just keep smoking pot. But it's also like, you know, you're probably just going to like get arrested for smoking again and right. again and again. Right. So she has to go August 8th to the 23rd for 16 days. And she's like, well, mm, uh, do it. Ninth, I have second row seats to Kesha and she's my idol. Quote, I really can't miss that concert. That's why I got all these feathers in my hair because of the concert. Quote, it's Kesha. Like my idol end quote dustin and, is uh, so hard not to laugh yeah i mean dustin's like come on girl and she's just like isn't there something you could do like isn't there something you could tell he's like i'm not telling anybody about the concert janelle <laughs> like yeah i'm gonna present it to the court he's like do you have a video that you maybe we could send the, the judge a clip and they could understand oh uh, that would is make that lyric <laughs> wake up in the morning feeling like p diddy mm-hmm. 
Yeah, th- I think yeah. that they'll understand once they hear that quality music. Can you show them how you brush your teeth with a bottle of Jack? Uh huh. Uh-huh. That works. But she keeps bringing up how important Kesha is in her life, and he's like, and she's cool. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, "Well, that's why I got the hotel room, and that's why I did this." And I she's bought like, clothes. Nasty. He's like, Dustin, I bought clothes for this concert. He's like, "Uh huh. You're not mm-hmm. gonna have to use them in jail, right?" What are you thinking? Well, don't worry, because she didn't have to think much because her probation officer showed up because Dustin probably was like, can you just go to her house uh-huh. right now? And fa- she failed her drug test and she got arrested on the spot. So it's a thousand dollars to bail her out. She didn't know. Like, she just figured I smoked once. So mm-hmm. now I'm just going to keep smoking and just avoid mm-hmm. taking my pee pee test. Yeah, no pee pees. No, no pee pees. Who's going to vacuum Jace's room? nobody probably nobody okay, ever just uh-huh. checking so uh-huh. babs goes no she calls her for bail she goes no good she said that she's like please mom please i'll stop everything and she says quote mm-hmm. the hell with you sit in jail i'm not coming because she's like you know what's gonna happen janelle i'm gonna bail you right. out and then you're gonna leave for a week and you're gonna go i'm stressed out yeah yeah no, I don't think that she was wrong for not bailing her out. Oh, I, I know that Babs right, sucks wrong. sometimes, but no, no, I don't no, think she's wrong. No, I don't yeah. think she's wrong at all. Also, Janelle, you said you were like, yeah, but then I have to wait until uh-huh. my court date. So basically, you mm-hmm. could have your sentence over with. Yeah. Just I would have been like, Dustin, can I go to jail right now? Me too. Me too. But I think that's what he was trying to tell her. Like, get it over with. No, but meaning before the, because the concert's a month away. Right. But she said right. it's in a few days. I don't know. No, I'm sure the timeline is screwed up, but no. it's like, you're already there. Just stay there. Just be in jail. Just start serving your sentence. You're going to have a sentence. But I thought she was like, oh, I could go to jail. I'm not going to do probation. She's in jail for one hour screaming, calling her mother. Because I think she thinks she's going to miss the concert. So now moving on to Kale. There's not a ton, but what what's there is it's good. It's quality. What's there? All right. So she's out with Jordan and Noel. Mm-hmm. She has a feather in her hair. I did not notice she had Noelle, a feather in her hair. Everyone has a where, feather. Where, where, is the pl- where is the placement of Kale's feather? Kale's feather is like right on the side. That's Kale so has a crazy. freaking feather in her hair. And you know what? what? Everyone has a feather in their hair in this episode, except for Leah, who has feathers inside of her head. She does. She's stuffed with feathers. <laughs> I. It's more like Kale's like, I still have feelings for Joe, but I'm trying to make it work with Jordan. Oh, that's what? so funny. You suck. I love it. So she wants to get a scholarship to school. Right. And But in the meantime, Joe and V have pictures online. So she calls Taylor and she's like, it says a little tipsy he was. That's what that's the quote. Uh-huh. A little tipsy he was. Uh-huh. What is it? Yoda making the, <laughs> making the captions? Yes, Dr. Seuss made it. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a, a picture from June 17th. She's right. like, June 17th? Where is your son? Okay, probably sleeping. Here's the thing. If this were actually about Isaac, I could get it. It's not. But it's not. It's about so, him having a girlfriend. Right. So Kale calls Joe and asks about the drinking. And he's like, oh, I don't know. If I was him, I would have been like, oh, that was from like a month ago. She just posted it, though. Right. So she's like, well, is that your girlfriend? Because right. what does that have to do with it? Mm-hmm. And he goes, no, it's not my girlfriend. Because at this point, why would you even tell? I wouldn't tell her. I know, but I don't think that even is his. I'm telling you, like, this is how guys are. Oh, it, it's not he's, his girlfriend, though. No, he's probably uh-uh. like, We're not official. Uh huh. You know it. Mm-hmm. So she goes out with her friend Gigi. I've never seen this girl before. Have you? Okay. So I haven't seen her yet, but I am in my mind. Mm-hmm. This is Javi's cousin. Mm, and that's how she met Javi. Yes. Okay. Interesting. So she goes to this vegan bakery. To tell yeah, that was so Gigi, random. To tell Gigi about Joe and V's picture. Gigi's like, I mean, Gigi's not very interested in any She's of like, this. Cool. Mm-hmm. So she likes Jordan because he helps her. We know. She likes Jordan because he's great with Isaac, too. Right. So she's gonna go take this to court to get Joe's days taken away. So her lawyer scheduled mediation, and they're very concerned about this underage drinking. Get a life. She wants every other weekend. and But he's going to have to agree or they're going to have to go to court. Where, Kel, why are you spending your money on this? Also, give him the kid for the weekend. Don't you right. want a break? She wants the control. I know. But I it's get like, it. I don't. because oh, no, I, I get it, but I also 
if we're putting our priorities in right. a list, yeah, my kid is never going to be above my alone time. Okay. So my, my spite kid- is uh-huh. never going to be al- above my alone time. Okay. So <laughs> if it were me, I mm-hmm. would look at it as in, okay, I'm, I have my alone time. I'm doing this stuff. So the kid isn't with Joe. It's still with, he's still with his grandparents. Okay. But he's also probably sleeping when he's Joe definitely sleeping. He's a little kid. <laughs> And you live with your parents. It's like you're not allowed to leave after the kid goes to sleep. Right. You, you're it's never silly. allowed to go out ever again. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Because he also works during the week, too. But that's what I'm saying. So you're yeah. never allowed to go out again. Yeah, I um, Stop. I think that she's really pushing this. And it's like, oh, she's so concerned with the underage drinking. Kale. I know. But why is her lawyer enabling this? OK, her lawyer is all the way on board. Her lawyer with is this. Like, this is concerning. Yeah. And he's going to have to agree to this or we're going to have to go to court. But she's like, I really think he's going to agree to it. I think he's going to agree to it. And I think that you're right. You do have to protect him from what if what if Joe drank like a half of a Heineken? Right. What if he had a Zima? Oh, my God. <laughs> what if he had a twisted tea on a Saturday? What is she worried about? Uh, she's going to show him that no matter what you do, if you want to be with another girl, I am going to haunt you. Yeah, and she haunts him about V for a long time. Mm-hmm. Now they're best friends, which is the weirdest thing ever. I know. Because it's like you could have saved yourself and been friends the whole time. Yes. But listen, she's yeah. young. She's still hurt. I get it. Well, well, that's the problem. And it's like, it's so it shows how hurt she is. Yeah, absolutely. Well, but also, she didn't love Joe either. It's yeah, just about winning. It's about winning. Yeah. Noelle. Tracy, this I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. I got to tell you, I don't even know what happens next. Okay. The only thing I know that happens next is yeah. Leah meets uh, Jeremy. That I know okay, happens but next. Does Chanel go to Kesha? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's so good. This is a woman. But I don't know what that. happens after that. She is Teflon. How has nothing ever happened to her? She is Teflon. Yeah, nothing's ever happened to her. Nothing. Well, I hope it doesn't, but... <sighs> no, I don't want anything to really happen to her. It's just amazing that it's like... She has she's no never consequence. Had, I don't think she's ever spent, like, truly any time in jail. No. No consequence, and this is why she acted this way. Well, follow us on TikTok at Trash Talk Podcast. Make sure you go to TracyCarnazzo.com for all of my upcoming show dates, including everything mm-hmm. podcast-related, um... Follow the show at Teen Mom Podcast on Twitter, Teen Mom Trash Talk on Instagram. Make sure you follow Noelle at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And you can follow me at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Give us a five-star rating and an amazing review on whatever platform you listen to us on. And tell a friend about it because we love your friends. I was just going to say tell a friend. Okay, bye. Bye.